integrated farm management which to me is the best of, of both worlds it, it's the best of traditional uh, husbandry best practice if you like uh, in terms of your rotation how you look after your soils whether you plow whether you work the surface we can, we can develop that one um, choosing the correct variety to suit your soil types etc feeding the crop um, what the crop needs not underfeeding it because we're losing yield not overfeeding it because we're wasting uh, fertilizers it's, it's, it's targeting what we want on the other hand yes we're using pesticides and we're using the latest technology whether that's GPS um, crop mapping all sorts of sensors and things um, as well as going out I mentioned we sample our soils for, for PCN we're sampling for soil analysis what is the soil analysis what is the status of the phosphate and the potash in this soil what level of nitrogen is left over as a residue from the previous crop all these things are taken into account when we're working out how much fertilizer to apply to the crop to, to build up to what the optimum is uh, as advised for the individual crops. If you grow potatoes every year or every third year and you have a lot of volunteer potatoes left behind in the other crops um, that is basically encouraging giving the habitat for the little nematodes right. to multiply and flourish uh, and basically PCN does tremendous damage because it will come and attack the, uh, the roots of the crop uh, and basically you won't have a if you had PCN and you didn't control it you would have an unsaleable crop. When you're stressing the rotation are you saying to us in effect you're already doing all you can in terms of natural control? Natural control, uh, control via cultivations yeah. um, we haven't even talked about varietal selection but we're trying to use all these cultural uh, uh, things before as a last resort then the final phase is to use the minimum amount of pesticide to uh, ensure the the crop comes through. Wheat like every other crop we grow has its full array of challenges um, weed control a lot of farmers have problems with black grass wild oats, sterile brome, things like this. On the whole we are pretty well free of those and again we work very hard to keep them out through rotational measures, cultural controls, even going out now with our labour force walking through the crops and roguing them. So if we get an odd wild oat in the crop we'll go and pull it by hand rather than going out and relying on pesticides. Um, I talk about cultural control. Hygiene is so important. Hygiene of machinery, tractors, implements going between fields so that we're not moving seed in the dust or the soil which may be attached to the machine. <coughs> Similarly with combines. If we have got a problem in a field, those combines need thoroughly blowing out, cleaning out before we take perhaps a weed problem out of this field and move into another field. So, you know, there's so much comes under this cultural uh, techniques, good husbandry, before we get down to, to dealing with, um, you know, the, the, the chemical control options.